Hey guys, it's Omrecker, and I'm taking a look at MechWarrior Online again. And we're going to talk a little bit about a variant that you can create using the Catapult. Specifically the Catapult Model K2. You can see the MC cost of this specific mech is 2.9. That Well, actually I'm not even going to say that. Uh, it's actually 2,925 MC and 5.3 million C-bills. It's one or the other. So if you have the MC, which is the cash currency, you can buy this mech using that. Otherwise, you can save up 5.4 million C-bills and get this variant outright. Now, the variant stock comes with two PPCs, two medium lasers, and two machine guns. It's got a standard engine 260 in it. And, uh, you know, overall, it's, it's a decent build, but honestly, I, I prefer to go with the Gauss rifles on this thing. So let me show you what it looks like when it's configured. You can see here that I ripped out the default 260 engine and I threw in a XL245, which is less than what it came with, but for a sniper config I can handle that, plus I get a little bit more savings on weight by doing that. I really don't need heat sinks, and all of my heat sinks for the most part are coming from this engine. So uh, I tore out all heat sinks everywhere else though. Uh, you see that there's no jump jets on this model. Now I'm not using any energy weapons at all. I actually have two Gauss rifles and I also added an anti-missile system to help with incoming LRMs if somebody targets me with them. So if I go into the configure tab, you can see that there's the XL engine there. XL engines also take up space in the uh, left and right torsos as well. You can see that there's a few slots used up by it, but despite that, you can still fit in Gauss rifles when you're using this configuration. That XL engine is key to fitting the Gauss rifle, so it's absolutely critical that you do that. And then you can slap in two of them. Now, Gauss rifles cost uh, 300,000 each. Let me just verify. Yep, 300,000 each, so there's 600,000 more there. The engine is also a pretty significant expense. If we look here, you can see first off the weights. It's 14 tons at a base standard engine but with the one I slapped in there it's only eight tons for the 245 now there's a significant cost though the XL engines are very expensive and they're actually pricier to repair if you get damaged but uh, 3.9 million C bills you cannot use MC for this so you have to save your C bills to be able to afford this and once you slap that in that's what actually allows you to be able to put in the Gauss rifles because otherwise there's simply not enough uh, tonnage available to do so. So with the two Gauss rifles, I also added an AMS anti-missile system. As mentioned, I have uh, Gauss ammo. I have enough actually for 60 shots, so I've got a total of six Gauss ammos. And then I put my AMS ammo in the leg. Again, I ripped out all of my heat sinks. I do not have any energy weapons on this thing. It's just uh, these things, uh, the arms here, are still going to look like I do though, so the enemy's not going to know until I start pegging them with Gauss. But otherwise, this is the Gauss Pult. We'll go ahead and take a look at a few games uh, using it, and you guys can see how it's an actually a pretty good sniper configuration, and it hits quite a bit harder in my opinion than the uh, PPCs. Plus it doesn't quite give away your position as much, given that there's not a big energy trail behind the projectile. The only catch is that once you're out of ammo, you're out of ammo. So uh, let's go ahead and check out those games. Okay guys, so we're in game here and you can see that I've got my two Gauss rifles. I was a little bit off on the range. It's actually 660 meters. And I've got 60 shots, so that means I could fire both of them 30 times. Oh, what are you doing, Raven? He just caused damage to my mech. Not a good way to start. There is collision damage, as you can see there, even when your friendlies are stupid and run into you. And let's see, we have a, another K2 there. We've got a Centurion. A couple Atlases and another uh, Catapult. Okay, I'm seeing Atlas eyes in the distance, yep. So they're all kind of lining up there. We're out in the open, I'm not quite sure why. What is that? That's a little Jenner. You can see how the fog is impairing my visibility, but using the heat vision, I can uh, actually see. Well, he's a little bit out of my range, but I'm going to freak him out. I can get a headshot. Nope. 
Ouch. What the hell? Got a friendly atlas, like, walking right in front of me. That's really smart. Well, you can see my AMS going off, trying to block some of those missiles. The missiles lost track of me. I swear to God, he was just firing at me. What do we have here? Damn it. I hit the hunchy's arm, almost tore it off, but... Well, we are engaging at really extreme distances here. And so far we're losing. like he's got a goss of his own. Damn. Look at all those missiles. Holy crap. So we have a little Jenner coming. Ah! I missed. There we go. Killed him. Goss rifles do hit extremely hard. I'm not liking the range that we're engaging right now. Okay. Well, I've almost got his torso busted. I really need to get body shot, so I did just take out some components, so he's hurt. Ouch. Where are those lasers coming from? Looks like the enemy has four kills to our one. Damn, I missed. Keep missing. Ah! Well, it looks like this hunchy's going for me. Hit him in the crotch. That didn't do much for me, but I should be able to get the kill. There we go. Another kill. I see the Atlas is almost cored. I'm running low on ammo, though. Pretty soon I'm not going to be able to do much for my team. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Hey, we have punched through his body. Uh, I need center torsos. Destroyed more components. He is just... There we go. Another kill. But I don't think we're going to win this game. Their whole freaking team is coming at me. Yep, and I am down. Got three kills, though, with the Gus Pole just picking them off from range. But uh, they had much more brawling power. So after... <laughs> This little raven dies, the one who rammed into me and damaged me. Uh, then we are going to move on to another game and see how we can do on another map. You can see how the little guys... Oh, he's dead for sure. The little guys are obviously harder to hit. I dished out 664 damage though. I got those three kills. Now my repair costs are probably going to be about 50,000 C-bills. So I didn't gain as much, mostly because of that XL engine, but otherwise it was a pretty good run for a loss. So I'll see you guys in the next match. Alright, we are back and we are playing on the Ice Planet map, which is called Frozen City, I believe. Could be wrong, I forgot to look. I think I know after playing this game so many times, but we are still using the Goss Pult here. And I need to find some targets. So there is a blizzard going on right now. Visibility is quite poor, although that will subside in a little bit. 
And one thing to note is that because these Gauss Rivals are mounted in the torso, my cross here in the center is where my weapon will hit, and I have limited range on it compared to the arms, which re is represented by the little circle in the middle. Okay, so... Like here, you see that my arms technically can raise a lot higher than my crosshair. My torso. It's one downside to using torso weapons. Yo, I'm not, oh, there we go. First target. What is it? It's a raven. Not too worried about it. Oh, there we got somebody else. Oh, that's another Goss Pult. Wow, he's he's really jetpacking high. I missed. Okay, I just want to make my shot count. Where is that raven? Oh, he's down on the cliffside. Well, he's going to be too low for me, so I got to get going. some more targets. Okay, so I see that Gauss Pult is still up over there. Dead. Alright, now we've got an Atlas. And he, <laughs> he was pretty smart. He moved right away. This damn blizzard, man. I can't see without heat. Oh, crap. Ah, chat. I don't want chat. Okay, so this hunchback. Okay, he retreated. Oh, no. Centurion. They blew off his arm. He's got his center weapon still, though. And one more good shot should get him. Damn it, hit his arm. His arms are off, but I need to get his body. Come on. This is definitely some fail right here. There we go, that was a body shot. One more. Ah! This is not how you use a Ghost Rifle, guys. He's down. What's hitting me right now? I'm not sure. Okay, so that's an Atlas. Still have missiles coming in. Got a kill assist somehow. Okay, so this Atlas is trying to get out of here. I'm gonna go try to pick him off. Ouch! Ouch! I'm down. Okay, so that one was two kills for me. Using the sniper, it could have done a little bit better with accuracy. But you can see how hard it hits. I mean, if you're good at landing your shots, then uh, you can get a ton of kills. Okay, this guy doesn't realize that his LRMs don't work at that range. LRMs actually have a minimum range where they will not do any damage if uh, you're using them in that little gap there.
Okay, so you can see I did 476 points of damage. I got two kills, one assist. Not bad. We'll go ahead and do one more with the Gust Bolt. So I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, we are in River City this time. And uh, this map is actually pretty nice because you have good visibility. Don't necessarily have to use stuff like your heat vision in order to see your targets. And there's some good sniping points. I could technically stay up here and try to pick off guys as they approach our base. Got good water vision here. And, oh, I already see somebody. And I missed. Okay, so I just let my team know what's up, what I'm seeing. Okay, so I'll make that three. Okay, well, I think, oh, I see somebody coming right as well. Somebody's talking to me about my guides. Oh, that's just a little janitor. I don't know where those guys went. We had two guys, or three guys that were coming left and I don't see them at all. Alright, uh, we also have a hunchback coming in. Well, you know what, I'm gonna cover right. It looks like we're good on left. We have a lot of people there. And, oh, he's coming quick. Stays in my sights. Ah! He hit something. Well, I've almost got him dead. Although this guy's probably gonna get the kill. If he's good, at least, he will. Okay, stay there, stay there, stay in my vision, stay in my vision. Come on. Well, I got the assist for that one. And there's a dragon. Not good, not good, not good. Yeah, let's run circles. No! Get away from me, get away from me. I want to core him out. go he's down and we've got somebody else who wants to party really quick Jenner and I missed not good <clears throat> so let's see what we can do to take out this Jenner I've got still a good amount of ammo he is really fast he must be rocking an XL engine in that thing damn it Ah! Okay, I'm gonna let my teammates deal with this little Jenner. I've got bigger mechs to fry. Hey, hey, get over here! Get it! Get! get. Duh! Come on! He's making me waste all my ammo. I can't keep doing this. I need my guys with lasers to do something. There we go, we got a hit off on him. Although that didn't seem to do much. Okay, I'm getting trapped here. We've, we've got a guy with lasers. I cannot blow all my ammo. The enemy's about to win this thing. So we've got a catapult K2 over here. What the? Oh no, a hunchy.
I did not notice him. And I missed. How the hell did I miss? Ah. Uh. There we go. Got another kill. And this hunchy is close to death. Who the hell is hitting me now? Okay, well, I'm getting a little bit nervous. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on. That's not enough? Ah. Well, it looks like he died too. But now it's up to my team to finish them all off. And we have a hunchback. <laughs> It's just spinning in circles, still trying to deal with this gender. Uh, well, that was a good run. Do we have somebody else? Oh, we have a little gender ourselves. Who's uh, made up, or he's got uh, four small lasers and two streaks. Not sure why he's running away, though. I mean, it's not like he's going to be able to get a capture. He should be using his streaks. There we go. Oh, well, he's not good at hitting with his lasers, though, at least for these little fast guys. But yeah, that was the Gossip Pult, guys. I think that's uh, good enough for footage of it. It is a very efficient sniper that can also hold its own for the most part up close if it needs to. Which isn't quite the case when you're using stuff like the um, PPCs. So uh, let me know if there's any other mechs that you guys want to see. Or any other builds. I can show a number of different builds. Or if you want me to go over stuff like just the... Uh, weapons and engines and stuff like that in general so I can you know at least let you guys know what each of them are and what they do and what they're good for I can do that as well so uh, that's it guys thanks for watching please be sure to like favorite comment and subscribe and tell your friends about my channel I always appreciate when you guys do that some more videos to come so stay tuned I'll see you guys next time Ah! Ah!